Hey folks, Mr. Dell here. We are looking at a situation where um, you will have two equations, two linear equations, and you're going to be looking for uh, their intersection point uh, based on the given situation. So let's let's walk through this, um, and we'll, we're going to be defining variables and writing equations and solving for missing values. So uh, this is from CPM and it is course three, and this is section uh, 6.1.2, specifically number 6-17, okay? So let's read the question together, and we'll go from there. So Frank weighs 160 pounds and is on a diet to gain two pounds a week so that he can make the football team. John weighs 208 pounds and is on a diet to lose three pounds a week so he can be on the wrestling team in a lower weight class. So it says, if Frank and John can meet these goals with their diets, when will they weigh the same and how will they, uh, how much will they weigh at that time? So we have two situations. One starts at 160 pounds. So Frank starts at 160 pounds and is gaining two pounds per week. John starts at 208 pounds and is losing three pounds a week. So we can define some variables and create a couple of equations and then find out where those two situations would be equal, right? When they meet. So I, I'm going to use X and Y and I'm going to define my Y as uh, my pounds, my weight. Okay. So Y is my weight. Why did I choose Y as the weight? Because I have two units, right? I have pounds. And then I have time. So I have weeks. So there's amount of uh, weight, the pounds, and then there's the time, amount of time, which is the weeks. Your X is, is in most situations, X will be the time factor. So the unit of time. X would be the unit of time. So, and in this case as well, we know that it's pounds per week. It's my rate there. So that's that unit of time. So I'm going to say X is weeks and Y is pounds. It's the weight in pounds. So the weight, but in pounds and the weeks is the, is the time factor. Okay. So let's write two equations. We have Frank. What do we know? Frank, we're going to say Y, his weight starts at 160 and is gaining two pounds a week. Well, if you remember, my, the equation y equals the mx plus b, that b is always the initial value, right? The starting value, and or we know as the y-intercept, but that's that initial value. And m is known as the rate. It's that rate of change. The rate of change, or on a graph, it's the slope, but it's the rate of change that M is. So with Frank, we know his rate is two pounds and he's gaining. So it's a positive two pounds. So that's the rate per week. That's the X plus the initial, which was 160. So there's Frank's equation. John, we know John, his weight is going to be, uh, he's losing losing three pounds a week, right? So that means it's negative three is his rate. Losing negative three per week plus the initial weight of 208. So there's my two equations. For John, gaining two pounds a week plus the initial pounds of 160. John, uh, that was Frank. John is losing three pounds a week and with the initial weight of 208. So I want to know when will these two guys be the same weight? So when, so now the question is when will these two Y's be equal? That's my question now. When will they be the same? Okay, when will they be the same? Well, if we want to figure out when they're going to be the same, then we just need to take it and set them equal to each other. So that's where this equal values method comes into play, where I'm going to set that equal to that, because that's when those Y's would be equal. So I can write the equation, well, 2X 
This is Frank's current Frank's weight at any time is this. Frank's weight at any time is this. So what I want to know is when will Frank's weight be equal to John's weight? And this expression, this expression here is John's weight at any time. So that's John's weight at any time. So now I set them equal to each other and solve for x. Okay, how do we do that? We get our x's isolated. So I'm going to add 3x to both sides. And I get 5x plus 160 equals 208, right? And then I'm going to subtract 160 from both sides, get the constants all on one side. And I get 5x equals, let's see, so that would be 48. Okay. And then now divide both sides by 5. And we have... The x is equal to, well, 48 over 5. 48 doesn't divide evenly by 5. So we can um, either either put this in decimal form or, or a mixed fraction, mixed number, uh, to just kind of see what we're dealing with here. So I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> put it in a um, mixed number here. So 5 goes into 45, I know, 9 times, right? And then there'd be three left over, so it's nine and three-fifths. If you want it as a decimal, that's 9.6. <clears throat> so what does that mean? That tells me that nine and three-fifths weeks, so it's going to take nine and three-fifths weeks for them to be equal weight. So I got to go back to the equation or make my question. My question is... Um, is when will be the, they be the same weight and how much will they weigh? So I've got to use my value. So what I know is it's um, at uh, nine and three fifths weeks. So we can say at. Oops, let me try that again. Sorry. So at nine and three fifths weeks, they will both be now i got to figure out how much they're going to be as far as pounds so how do i figure that out so i can say i know the weeks so to figure out how much that's going to be i need to take this number and plug it back into one of these equations to figure out what the weight is so um it doesn't really matter which one i'm going to plug it into i'm going to go ahead and stick with all the positive here i'm going to put it into frank so what i would do is i would say well to figure out what that is y is equal to two times and I've got to either put in 9 and 3 fifths or 9.6. I'm going to put in decimal this time. So it's going to be 2 times 9.6 uh, plus 160. So that gives me 2 times that is, let's see, 18, 19.2 plus 160. So then I end up adding those two and I get 179.2. So that's the y when x is 9.6. So at 9 and 3 5 fifths weeks, they will both be 179.2 pounds. All right, there we go.